Howdy. I uh, earlier tried to upload just a 51 second video clip from a documentary that I watched last night when I went to bed. However, YouTube won't allow you to see it. It not only is a, you know, copyright infringement, but they completely block it worldwide. You can't see it. Now, the interesting thing is, is where I got a copy of this video that I took the clip out of uh, was just some Joe Blow's channel on YouTube, right? And he's got the entire video uh, in HD, the entire documentary, on YouTube. And that's fine, but I can't show you a 51-second clip. Okay, so we're going to try this again. I'm going to put the clip up back here. Maybe, I, I, who knows? Who knows if you'll be able to see it or not? I hope so. Because the whole point of me showing you this is to show you just how wrong the prepping content creators have it. I keep saying over and over and over that there is a lot of history that can be looked at as examples a lot it looks nothing like the movies and clearly the prepping content creators are coming up with their ideals from hollywood not history i don't know what to tell people but if you live in a place that's going to be mad max immediately after things go sideways you should probably move. I'm just saying. If you think you're going to hole up in your cave with your buddies and your box of crackers and live out the end of time, you're mistaken. And if you've got enough food for you and yours put back to be able to survive a considerable amount of time without having to go into the public space what do you think's gonna happen when the people that did anything and everything they could to survive that see you coming up out of your hole not lifting a finger not doing a damn thing to help them get wherever it is that they are at that point do you expect the people that was out there doing the work you think they're gonna Welcome those people with open arms. I don't. I don't. I won't. Absolutely not. You'll be heading on down the road. I don't give a damn what that means for you and yours. Prepping channels have it wrong, folks. Way, way wrong. And without even thinking twice about using the pun, dead wrong. They are dead wrong. So anyway, what does Jack LaLanne have to say about a point in American history when things went sideways, but not Mad Max? Jack you know, LaLanne. The people would help each other. You know, if this person had something you didn't have, you know, you, you trade it for it or give it to her, you know. You know, that really brings out the best in people. I opened my first official gym in Oakland in 1936. See, I was the first one to have women working out with the weights. I was the first one to have old people working out with the weights. I was the first one of athletes working out with the weights. The word got around. That Jack Holland, he's a nut. He's a crackpot, you know. Got women working out with the weights. Got athletes working out with the weights. The athletes will get muscle bound. The old guys will drop a heart attack. You can't believe what I went through, boy. It was tough. Not only to open the first gym and everything, but then going through the depression. So people had no money. But that's how I started. See, I wasn't thinking of depression. I was thinking of helping people. He was thinking about helping people. Huh. So you mean he, he didn't survive the Great Depression because he was just thinking about himself and his box of crackers and his hole. Huh. What a concept. What a concept. And what happened to him as a result of focusing on helping people instead of, you know, 
trying to claw his way just for another morsel of food. Huh. If there was only a book that we had that had been passed down, not just from generation to generation, but civilization to civilization, if there was only a book that would, I don't know, steer us in the right direction, I don't know. I, maybe somebody should write a book. Shalom.